Now that just can't be possible. I set the TARDIS to actually come at this specific moment in London. There can't be any logical explanation for Oh, hey, it's you again! Oh, hello, Ditsy, how are you? Where have you been all this time? Oh, I was actually just here a few seconds ago trying to get my way back to London. Doctor, it's been almost two months. Two months? Oh, that's right! So that means the TARDIS sent in time and space relative to the dimension about ooh, a month off from here. But I assure you, I was just gone for a second. I'm a time traveler, remember? Right, but I mean, that seems a little far-fetched. Uh, I think I'm going to need a little more than just you saying you're a time traveling pony for me to believe that you were there seconds ago when, um, you know, a month later. Oh, right, I'm uh, right, uh, about that. I, in actual fact, I can prove to you I am a time Here, yeah. try your muffin. Wait a minute, you still have those? That's yep. kind of gro- Wait, I know my muffins. Those are freshly baked, but that's impossible. I know what my muffins look like. You've barely even taken a bite of one of them. Well. And they're fresh. You weren't mine. Wow, you really weren't mine. You actually are a time-traveling pony. That's so exciting. Wait, you're not as cynical as I remember you to be. Oh, sorry. That was because I thought you were crazy and kind of stupid. Well, that's just the... Well, I don't anymore, right? <laughs> you're a time-traveling pony, and I've accepted that. And also, you're not exactly a pony, right? Right, I'm a time... I don't behooves try not to get lost this year, feather brain. Yeah, <laughs> I know. What's that fellow, anyway? It's just one of the ponies of Ponyville. Don't mind him, he's not important. Why do he call you Derpy Hooves? Is that like a nickname or something? You could say that, yeah. It's not exactly the nicest. Well, I don't know about that. I think it sounds kind of cute. Cute? What? What do you mean cute? Well, think about it. Ditsy doo be derpy hoos, derpy hoosy ditsy doo, derpity derpity ditsy doo hoos. I find it rather whimsical and melodious, really. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> Now, uh, tell me, why are you dressed up like that? Oh, you mean the vest? This is for winter wrap-up. Winter wrap-up? <gasps> oh, you don't know about winter wrap-up, do you? Is that some sort of, um, pony celebration sort of thing? Yes, around? yes it is. It's one of the best celebrations in Ponyville. Huh. You see, this is the time when we get rid of winter and welcome spring. It's really fun. We all come together and... <gasps> You're not really a pony, are you? No, that's what I've been trying to... You should join! What? I can't jump. Yes, you should join Winter Wrap-Up. I can teach you everything. Because if you do Winter Wrap-Up, then it'll help you learn to be a pony. Think about it. It's one of the oldest Ponyville traditions, and you're not allowed to use magic. So, what better way to learn to be a pony than do an old pony celebration? Oh, that just... What am I supposed to do? Put on this vest and listen, I'll teach you what to do. But Ditsy, I don't come from here, I just don't have a clue. Well then I'll explain so you can know, there is nothing you should fear. I'll try to do my very best, but it still seems so unclear. Each year we hope to welcome spring and all things warm and green. But how can you even start with that? It's fine, I'll take the lead. How do I help? I'm no pony. What am I supposed to do? 
It all seems strange and very awkward. Don't worry, I'll help you. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. You can do it, I'm right here. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Come on, doctor, have no fear. Come on, doctor, have no fear. First, you take this break right here and scoop up all the snow. My God, it's hard, it still feels weird. It's hard to do, you know. Now take this plow, you are doing just fine. Well, it's not so bad, in fact, I'm starting to shine. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. I can do it cause you're here. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. This is fun, I have no fear. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. And you don't have no fear. Cause with you I have no fear. I'm really liking the break. I think I might keep it for good memories. See, Mr. Doctor? I told you it was fun. It's just the doctor. But when you're right, you're right. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up, let's finish our holidays here. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up, cause tomorrow spring is here. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up, cause tomorrow spring is here. 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 Ha! Fancy that! So that's winter wrap up. Yep. Though so, I've been teaching you all this stuff, so I barely got to do any of what I was supposed to do. Oh, what were you supposed to do? Well, I still have to fly south and get the southern birds. You see, last year, it's not my fault. I mean, it was the wind currents. They threw me off, and I wound up going the wrong direction. But this year, for sure, I think I can get south. I'm a bit late, though. I have an idea, Titsy. Hmm? Why don't you follow me? I'm a time traveller, and we could use my time machine, the TARDIS. Your time machine? But sure! It's a time machine. How's it going to take me anywhere other than, you know, in the old cave pony era? <laughs> Are you <clears throat> Well, follow me and you'll be in for quite the surprise. Come along. Okay. You really like that rake. You weren't kidding about taking it with you. What's wrong with this rake? It should be important when I need it. Well, what are you going to need it for? You're not going to eat it, are you? No, moon raking space dust, on the other hand, that is what you need it for. Uh, okay. Here we are, Ditsy. And just to reacquaint you, meet the time and relative dimension in space. Or TARDIS for short. Well, that's what it stands for. Well, what? What did you think it stands for? I thought it was totally awesome! Uh... And I... I kind of couldn't think of anything after the R. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no, <clears throat> about that. Let's just take a look at some, shall we? Okay! Whoa. Whoa... Yes? It's... It's... Go on! It's smaller on the outside! Fancy that! Huh? That's one way to put it! What was I supposed to say? Well, I was kind of expecting something about it being bigger on the inside. But who am I to complain? That's just silly. Look at it. It's like, it's like a can of sardines, all packed in. Well, you could say, now wait a minute. How do you know about canned sardines? Canned what? Who puts fish in cans? That's silly. You're silly, doctor. Yeah, I'm silly. So, to the south? To the south! Alright, all I just need to do is switch this lever and we'll be over there before Lickety Split. I had a friend named Lickety Split. Now! Wait a minute, we didn't even move! What are you talking about? We're here! We can't be here! I mean, it just kind of went... Ah, oh, my good Ditsy, where's your sense of adventure? Just beyond those doors lies the southern tropics, the beautiful birds saying, Ditsy, you did a fantastic job! Uh, okay. Uh, whoa, Doctor? I know, right? Brilliant. No. Huh? Doctor? What? I don't think the South is covered in mountains and snow. Wait, that just can't be right. Oh, dear goodness. We're in the North. Fancy that. I don't think that's a good thing. I'm supposed to be South. Your blue box thing didn't work. Something's not right. Take a look at that. Doesn't the air feel a bit abnormal? Abnormal? Well, 
wait a minute. Come to think of it, those clouds up there. I'm an expert in clouds. Us Pegasi have to be. I've never seen clouds like that before. Huh. That does seem very, very odd. Let's go check it out. Wait, wait, just like that? Yep, that's what we're here for. No, it's not. It is now. So you have to stick your muzzle in everything? That's the way it works. Well, okay, let's go. This should be fun. Oh, that's more like it. Fun, 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 fun. So what are we looking for exactly? Uh, we're looking for any abnormality. Something that would... Um, Rock your socks off. But I like my socks. Well, oh, it's a figure of speech, but ponies and socks. That's new. I'd like to see that. Don't get creepy on me, Doctor. Anyways, just look for anything that's not supposed to be here. Well, those clouds aren't supposed to be here. Well, that's one, but this ground. Doesn't it feel a bit weird for snow? It looks like snow, but look! No footprints. Hoofprints. <laughs> yeah, that. Hoofprints. Are you going to do that every time? Do what? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, never mind. But you are right. There's no hoof prints in snow. Doctor, what are we standing on? It's moving. It's moving! Oh my goodness! A fralorn? Here? A for what? A fralorn. Planetary parasites. It's amazing that one is here! Just take a look. What's it doing? Well, that's <laughs> The young will feed. Oh. Doctor? It's here to try and lay eggs. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Lay eggs? Yeah. The thing is gonna lay eggs? Yeah, it's right here trying to lay its eggs, and the only way it does is. <laughs> oh. Cold. Forever. Cold. Yeah, about them. They try to drop the temperatures of entire planets with gases they emit, those clouds, to horrendously cold temperatures so that the young can hatch and thrive. What's that going to do to our planet? Well, that means the planet's going to freeze. That can't happen! This is... this is every pony's home! You gotta stop it, Doctor! Can you do anything? The Fralorn tend to be instinctual, but this one knows basic speech. I'll try to reason with it, but keep in mind we might have to go to Plan B. Okay. Greetings, Fralorn! I'm the Doctor. I come in peace. Under the Shadow Proclamation Act, I'm here to issue a warning. You cannot make this planet a cold wasteland for your eggs. It's already very much occupied. But if you follow me, I will take you to a colder planet. This planet is the new home. No, no, no. This planet is protected, and I happen to be its ambassador. You are? No, it doesn't know that, but let's just assume I am. <laughs> right, so, here's the plan. You follow me, I take you and your offspring to another planet where there's fine food and cold climate. Ah! I got you, Doctor. Again. Huh. Thanks. Right, but we need to distract him, and I don't know what to do. Distract him? What's plan B? I don't know! Plan B was to wing it! Uh, wing it? What are you crazy? hi -ah! <laughs> That's all to do it! I hope! Oh, see that? The Sonic disorients it! I'll keep you covered! You gotta do something and fast! Hold on a minute. It lives in cold climates. Doctor! I'm the Pegasus! I can clear the clouds away! That should make it warmer! Do it! Hey! Dipsy! Keep doing what you're doing! Okay. It's time to do winter wrap-up! Time Lord style! <laughs> ha! I knew keeping this rake was a good idea! Let's just move this here, attach the rake there, a little tweak with the Sonic, and coordinate set! I'm sorry, old girl, but you need to fly again! Aha! Fancy that! It's gotta be brilliant! Doctor, is charging right towards you! Perfect! Keep at it, Dipsy! Okay! There you are, hatch soon! For the cold planets! Oh no, you won't. Now you listen to me, and you listen to me good, Frolord. 
This planet has a lot of wonderful ponies. I haven't met them all, yet they're wonderful. And I'm not going to let their planet turn into a planet of ice. I'm the Doctor, and the Doctor is in. See that from the wall? My TARDIS is spinning all your precious snow away, just as I said it to. Springtime is here! What? You didn't listen. Doctor, it melted. Yeah, about the Frawlorn, they tend to keep an internal temperature about negative 270 degrees centigrade. The fact we raised the core temperature up about a smidgen or so caused it to melt. But the eggs are still safe. I just need to take them to some nice cold planet so that they can hatch and live their little wormy lives however they want. Wait, you can take it to another planet? Of course. Wait a moment. Well, what, what do you expect? You look like you've been gone a lot longer. Possibly, but... Oh! While planting some of the eggs, I realized something. I'm, I'm in another dimension! I mean, it's almost exactly like the one I come from, but instead of humanoid being the universal shape, it's... ponies! It's impossible for me to even be here, but here I am! Fancy that! Oh, uh, but... Uh, never mind that. I am sorry. Did you want to come along and discover it with me? Wait, come along? What do you mean? Well, I'm a pony now, and I can't just go out exploring the whole of the universe without another pony to show me the ropes of ponyness. Wait a minute. Time and relative dimension in space. You're telling me you're not just a time traveler. You travel in space? Yep. Move over. I'm coming with you. What? So we're off to a colder place. Hey. Yeah. You ate all my muffins. Thank you.